Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at inserting a pie chart into a document in Google Docs and how you format it, how you get your data even into it. So I've got a report here, I need a pie chart, so I'm going to insert and then chart and then pie. And what Google Docs is going to do is insert a pie chart. Great, except that this is not my data and there's no method here that's immediately apparent if I right click on things as to where my data is. Well, the data is in this link chart, so you just can't click here. What you need to do is to click the menu and you're going to click on open source and that's going to take you to a sheet that has your chart in it. So here's the chart, but interestingly, when I drag it out of the way, I'm not able to see the data. Now, the secret is up here, you can see I'm looking at cell A7. Let's just click in that cell to make that the target and start arrowing up and here is the data. So this data is in this chart. So what I have to do is replace that with my data. Now I already have my data on the clipboard here just to make it quick and easy. So I'm just going to press control V to paste it in. But you can type your data in here and if you've got more data than there was just keep on typing. And here is our chart. So this is updated now with the details from here, although the title still says point scored. So we need to sort that out. We have to sort it out here because this entire chart is going to appear in our document. So let's right click the chart and choose chart and access titles. We want to change the chart title. Now you can either change the chart title or you could remove it entirely. I'm just adding a new title. And then I want to change the look of this because again, until we change the look of it, it's not going to appear in the document correctly. So we're just going to select each pie in turn and then go and change it. Now, if you have lost this menu here, what you're going to do is click on a pie piece, right click and choose format pie slice. And you can also get access to the tools for changing the pie slice color here. But it also appears in this dialog over here. So when we select on a pie slice, if you leave the dialog open, you're going to get access to the color options. I'm going to recolor my chart. I think it looks pretty gruesome as it is right now. And just a hint, if you haven't got enough colors, what you could do is this. You can click on a pie slice, go down to the color, choose a color that's pretty near to what you want, then go back and click on add custom color. This is the color that we were using, but if we want to go a bit darker, then we can just drag down to create a darker version. So you can still continue to build up different colors within this same sort of color palette. I'm ready now, my chart looks fine. Let's go back to our document. Okay, nothing's changed. Well, the reason is that we need to update this. So let's click to update it. And so now we have a pie chart embedded in our document, but it's coming from the data here in this sheet. So I can close it down now and we're ready to go with the rest of our document. If you need to update the data at any stage, you're just going to click on the chart, go back to open source. That's going to reopen this document. Again, you're going to have to navigate to get to your data, which is hidden up in the top corner. Over here, you can make changes to it. Say that was supposed to be 75 and this was supposed to be 75. Well, we've now made changes. Let's go back to our document and we will need to update to update those changes. I hope this has helped you with inserting pie charts and this is going to work similarly for any type of chart in a document in Google Docs. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.